world could be yours when you- BRUH! She-Hulk! Attorney at law? Hi, welcome to another Bomb Squad vidcast, this time in brand new Rain Vision. Because he's editing this one. God bless. Yeah, God bless us all. Yeah, we're talking about She-Hulk, the newest Marvel show. The last live action one for the year. Might be the last one, period. I don't know if anything else is coming out this year, but... We're going to get uh, right into it. We're going to start with talking about our history with She-Hulk in general. Rain, from what you told me, it's basically none. I have a, like, I, I understand the gist of the character. I understand how she was basically created just as, like, a copyright thing. Because they were afraid of, like, they saw, like, how the Bionic Man, how they made uh, the, the Bionic Woman a different, like, suit at TV series or whatever. And they were like, oh, no, what if someone does that with our characters? Uh, Marvel Comics, that is. So they're like, oh, we gotta make some make some uh, girl versions so no one can uh, so we can beat them to the punch. So that's why She Hulk and Spider Woman exist, as far as I understand. That is why they exist, yes. And then it's also interesting how she's kind of the first like mainstreamish comic character to do the whole fourth wall breaking thing. She is, and she that's what makes her special. Punch by like a decade. Yeah, two decades actually. Deadpool didn't break the wall fourth wall until the '90s. She Hulk was introduced in the late '70s. I get her gist, and I think it's like it's fun how she's kind of like an inversion of the uh, sexist trope of women who, when they're given power, like losing control and being like, you know, crazy mad and all that stuff. I was introduced to She Hulk through a lot of things, which was either hand me down comics from my dad's or old comics I would buy at uh, used stores because there, I don't remember what store it was, but there was a deal where you could get like five comics for 99 cents a lot of old paperback issues, so that's where I would get a lot of my comic books growing up as a kid. One of my favorites as a little kid was She-Hulk. That is one of the few characters that wasn't introduced to me through like Marvel Ultimate Alliance or anything like that. I just knew her from the comics, and I liked how funny she was. One of my favorite moments ever is when She-Hulk's like, shit, we gotta get to the, the bad guy's base. She's like, I know a shortcut, mm -hmm. and she cuts through the ads. It's, it's so funny. Because the ads are real. <laughs> mm -hmm. They actually integrated it with the real ad page, which is really cool. Um, apparently they had to get every sponsor to sign off on it. God bless. They don't do it like <laughs> they don't make them like that anymore. Uh, for a while there, she kinda went away from the fourth wall breakiness, but in the twenty tens she started to go back to it more. And that's mm -hmm. obviously the direction the show has taken. We can just uh, get get right into it with episode one. A normal amount of rage. I, I love that episode title. It's it's so goofy in the yeah. best of ways. Tatiana, I think that's her name, the lead actress mm -hmm. for She Hulk, is so good. Yeah. She is so good. Marvel Marvel does it again. Rain. They cast good. It's almost like that is what has made the Marvel Cinematic Universe really good over the last fifteen years. They cast really well. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the good thing, as in, like, that's the number one reason, necessarily, or it's... No, but, but it's a big yeah, no. part of it. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, she's good. I don't have too much to say. She's not quite, like, this Marvel actress or, um, or Moon Knight Man, where, like, I'm just instantly drawn... Like, Oscar like, Isaac! Hey, now, you have your, your cry counter... There's an unofficial, it's not zoned, it's like a secret thing. There's my unofficial uh, Rain doesn't remember actor's name counter, or any <laughs> name of anything counter. Oh, uh, that's great. On. The point I'm trying to get across, uh, it was good. I don't have, it wasn't, but it wasn't good enough for me to, like, have a take. Like, you know, she's charismatic, she's likable, she has good rapport with Mark Ruffalo. That's that's what yeah. really got it for me, was how much I was able to buy them as family members. Yeah. You can almost argue too much, it was almost a brother-sister dynamic. But at the same time, mm -hmm. that's also kind of what they have in the comics. You have that one cousin you're really close to. I have, like, no you know, family one. members. And even I have that one cousin that you're yeah. that you're talking about. Everyone has the one cousin they're really close with. That, that's yeah. what's going on here. I think uh, making the show a comedy was a good call. But, so there's two action scenes in this show, right? There's the yeah. one where She-Hulk versus Hulk. And I thought that was yeah. pretty well done. It was an interesting showcase of both of their powers, strong and stronger, and it was fun. Yeah. And then they, they're, there's the fucking courtroom fight. My biggest problem with the episode is how fucking bizarre the editing is in that one. Yeah. 
it's it's I'm, I'm not even saying it's bad i mean it's bad but it's more just weird it's awkward yeah like the cuts don't flow which is weird because again the she hulk versus hulk one was good i'm not saying it was exceptional but it was good I mean, what do you think of the, the, the Hulk versus She-Hulk thing? It was okay. I'm going to be honest. I'll give my general thoughts in this whole episode. It's just very fine. I don't... I don't know. I feel bad. Like I feel like this came out in just a bad time because it feels like now more than ever, people are just really getting sick of just the constant um, the quips and all that of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But this is like, if there's any property, from what I understand, again, I haven't read a She-Hulk comic, but like I know of She-Hulk. If there's any, like, Marvel character who should have, like, a quip a minute um, type dialogue, it should be a She-Hulk show. So it, it feels yes. bad that, like, where the series where it's, like, the most appropriate to have this type of humor is the time where people are just, like, the most sick of it. So that's unfortunate. I and, Fuck you, Taika Waititi. It's your fault. An original, why would I do that when I can make a sequel? IPs and sequel. Yeah, I'm of two minds of it. On the one hand, I try and tell myself, well, hey, they should get a pass. It's She-Hulk's, like, whole thing. Not her whole thing, but it's, like, a big part of her is being quippy. I should give this series an excuse to do it. But on the other hand, I'm also, I'm pretty sick of it. Pretty much as sick of it as everyone else. I don't know. I guess back to the fight. Like, most of the show is just like, yeah, I'm entertained. But I'm not really feeling much. There's only, like, maybe a handful of moments that really sparked my interest. And the fight really wasn't one of them. I was building just, up yeah, to what just... I thought was the standout stuff in the episode. I uh, really the standout stuff for me, um, seeing the two characters, their, like, different um, approaches to anger and stuff like that. Stuff about how, you know, patriarchy and all that. I thought that was fun. Uh, and then mixed with... Um, the patriarchy. I, I, I thought that was fun. You know, there's probably millions of people are angry on there because, oh, she mentioned patriarchy existing. How dare she? Where does she get off? But everyone's subjected by that. But I feel like they kind of like let open the opportunity for some like some interesting self with Hulk in the future. You know, it's like, hey, it's pretty weird how you didn't have um, how no one else has this weird alter ego issue like you do, uh, Bruce. I don't know. I'm trying to mind what I can find that was interesting about this. It was fine. Like I was enjoying my time, but I don't know. I'm. Uh... Did you like the fourth wall breaks? Yeah, they're so. Here's the thing about fourth wall breaks. They uh, can be some of the best jokes ever. But they can also be some of the just most lazy, uh, hacky jokes ever. And this is like leaning towards the, the hacky side, where it's just like super lazy. Where it's just like, oh, well, it's a She Hulk thing. We have to have the fourth wall breaks. Now, Grant, this is, um, I get that this is the first episode. And so maybe audience, they're trying to like ease people into it. Um, so I won't, I won't give it, um, too much complaint if in the later episodes they actually are more creative with it, like the, um, like the big, uh, ad cutting example, like you mentioned. If they, find creative ways like that then it's cool otherwise if it's just her looking at the camera rolling her eyes like i can't believe this is happening uh i'm not gonna i'm not gonna have much patience for it if i'm being honest i know things i won't tell you, you do. but I, I know things you'll be happy just I'm, yeah yeah i want to find out trust me no i'm yeah. not gonna tell you what um, it is but you will be happy before I give the torch back to you, like, so you can actually, you know, talk for a moment, I guess just, like, to temper my negative eight. Like, I'm open. Like, I'm, I can definitely see myself enjoying this more as it goes on. And I don't even dislike it. I did overall enjoy my experience. It's just, you know, mostly pleasant indifference. That's how I would uh, describe my experience with this episode. I, 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 I don't think I was indifferent towards it, mostly because it felt pretty much ripped straight out of a She-Hulk comic for me. Other than mm -hmm. the more on the nose fourth wall breakiness, which I do agree, I, I uh, the first one of the show being like, so you're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation, which is just classic. Like that only works if you're being ironic. Now I think you know yeah. you're either ironic or you're like a hundred and twenty percent sincere about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You're like Otherwise, it doesn't work flavor. anymore. Um, beyond that. I, I, I do agree with a lot of what you're saying. Um, I, I, I am sick of the quippiness, only because I think Thor Love and Thunder broke me um, with the quippiness. But I think the quippiness in this show feels earned. And more than anything, I really like seeing Bruce's and uh, Jennifer's dynamic, which makes me nervous for the future episodes that, from what I understand, will have less Bruce. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. But to be fair to the show, I don't really know her supporting cast in the show yet. I saw all of what two minutes of them. Yeah, and the only yeah, one that has a distinctive character trait is sucks up to her. So I, I don't know. But um, I, I do know that it's uh, it's smashing time. I'm yeah. glad that Marvel is trying to do a 
pure sitcom type thing from what I understand. That that seems interesting. Kind of a reoccurring thing with a lot of the Disney Plus shows is we're like the character dynamics, but I don't, but once it's trying to just be a straightforward superhero thing, like I, a lot of my interest just goes away. Like with Miss Marvel, when it's just being a coming of age teen comedy, I thought it was pretty good. But when it was trying to be a superhero thing, it was very mediocre, I thought. Um, let's talk about- Oh, the effects, uh, the CGI. Are we going to talk about that? Here's my hot take. It's perfectly fine. I don't have, I, but also I have notoriously low uh, taste or like a low standard for um, for good CGI, so I'm not probably the one to judge for this. Um, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, definitely better than the trailer, like you were saying earlier. Yeah, the tr the, the first trailers this looked really bad. Um, it's improved a lot since then. I don't know. I think she looks normal. It depends on what it is. I don't know. I didn't have a problem with it, but but you wanted you, you wanted to shit on it, right? You wanted to. Um... I'm not shit on it. It depends, and most of the sh episode it looks good, because most mm -hmm. of the episode takes place on the island, which I'm honestly yeah. assuming is an entirely digital environment. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. It looks less great in the courtroom. Um, specifically the way the clothing seems to interact with her doesn't seem correct to me. Um, I feel like they were trying to, like, it felt, like, so last minute in Rush, like, that they were trying to make it, like, that was supposed to be the joke, but it didn't quite land. Especially because I think that's supposed to be the main villain. Yeah, she, like, she, like, is a reoccurring part, from what I understand. Yeah, that's so weird... Maybe I'll make more sense in episode two. You know what else is gonna make more sense in episode two? You! Thanking you, the person watching this vidcast. Thank you so very much for watching the first episode on She Hulk and the first episode edited by Rain ever. Round of applause for him. I'm sure it's gonna come out great. Uh, thank you also very much for watching. Go down to the comment section below and let us know. Do you have any experience with She Hulk in the comics? What do you think of the first episode of the show overall? Are you excited for the direction the show will go? Comment below and let me know. While you're down there, hit the like button so we know how much you like us. Hit the subscribe button so we know how much you love us. And hit the bell icon so you know exactly when we upload new videos. Thank you again oh so very much for watching, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. I slid my ticket across the table and I said, Sorry, guys. I gotta see about a girl.